Tonight, we're serving two delicacies, etouffee and gumbo. Dish one chock full of size, strength, and accuracy, possibly the flavor of the year, Byron Leftwich. Dish two, a southern staple for four years, mixed with speed, scrambling, some cutting, and you have David Garrard. If you like a heaping helping of quarterback stew, then bring your appetite. Marshall, East Carolina, in the GMAC Bowl next. And that amazing offense will take to the field first and ten from their own 20. Byron Leftwich, the quarterback, the junior, and he's sticking around for his senior season. Pretty good collection of wide receivers there. The three of them combined for over 220 catches and more than 3,000 yards. Watts is their speedster. He's the guy they try to have stretch the defense. First down and ten for Marshall from the 20. They open up single setback and they play a one back offense. Franklin Wallace is that one back. Left foot to drop back to the shotgun. Two receivers to his left bottom and the screen, one up top. He's got to watch for his Darius Watts. Left foot, great protection all sorts of time. Now it's being chased. And that will be taken down. So well for so long there. As you look at the left side, Shulo content. They have been the big key. They've started every single game and more movement on the right side in terms of injuries. Well, this front three has not been able to get to the quarterback very often, as witnessed by that first play. But look for Bernard Williams to provide a little bit of a pass rush on the outside. They go five wide receivers here on second down and 12. And here's Leftwich. Trying to set up the screen. It's tipped and caught, and it's going to be a touchdown. You see Tim Rose, the defensive coordinator on the sidelines. He has to be very pleased with this little piece of serendipity. And on the part of Hunt, that's a great catch. This is a poor throw on the part of Leftwich. This is actually an easy throw right here, but he throws it behind him. Marriott is on the run, and sometimes you have to be coming to Carolina. He's in the top five in the nation in total tackles. A lot of pressure on this secondary coming in, as we pointed out, 101st in the nation against the pass. A lot of pressure simply because of the fact you're going to see all sorts of four and five wide receiver set. You see Byron Leftwich checking at the line. This is all check with me plays. You see a quick sneak. This is a no-huddle offense. See the play clock down to eight. We'll see how low it can go. Three receivers to his left, bottom of your screen. Leftwich looking in that direction. Now firing across the middle. And tangle up with the defender. Watch number 13 to your left of your screen. Break to the inside. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I stand corrected. That has to be. <laughs> so that can make it. Shotgun snap gets away from Leftwich, trying to foil on it. It's picked up by East Carolina. Down the far sideline to the 10. It's Jerome Stewart. Can't have anything any better. Joey Stepp just has an awful, awful snap, and Leftwich just can't get to it. Give credit there where credit is due, and number 26, who's hustling over there for East Carolina. That happens to be Chris Sean Gilliam is the one who set. Steve Levy, Todd Christensen, and Dave Ryan. This is the GMAC Bowl on ESPN2. So there is David Garrard, the record setter, making his 39th consecutive start at quarterback for East Carolina. Backs and receivers, you already docu uh, documented how well Leonard Henry has done this year. If they have a go-to guy, it would probably be number one, Richard Alston. First down and ten, and Rimp, the left tackle, he's the star on the, of this group. Defensive line has to get it going, particularly against the run. They have really struggled, but the big man for them has been all-Mac performer number 34, Ralph Street. Second down and four, three receivers to Garrard's left. They will play action and throw it out into the flat. And there's Terrence Copper. And Copper will have to be able to stop these people. And of course, the linebacker position, number five, Max Heath, their 150 tackle guy, is their leader in the interior. And the secondary, Yancey Satterwhite, is three inches of the running cover as well as this. Second down and 14 now. This time they play action to Henry. Garrard buys himself some time. Able to set up and throw and complete to Arnie Powell. Out in the middle of the field. Watch right here. You're going to see number five get to the middle and then just sit down. Watch him just sit down. Instead of keep running with his quarterback, he sits down. And as a result, Yates is sitting there saying, hey, you know what? I know this play. I'm going to run with him. But instead, as a result of Powell sitting down and down, he lost his shoe. And he's out for a breather. He'll work on them, get back in the game. They option. 
Gerardo keeping himself. And now he pitches it back and literally it's a Richard Austin down the side. To run the option. He has passed the line of scrimmage. He's got a, what, a four or five yard gain. Great athletic ability. He sees that he's about to go down. Pitches to Alston. Great blocking downfield. And as a result, those are 190 pound quick guys. This guy's 250. The play goes for 27 yards. First down and goal. It's Carolina looking to blow this baby open. Here's Gerardo, the option, keeping it. Touchdown, and he goes into the end zone untouched. Made it look easy. But there's no run support. Watch right here. Watch street number 34. He decides to go after Henry. There's nobody that comes up and takes Gerard, and as a result, he goes into the end zone untouched. It rains, it pours. The snap is perfect, but Curtis Head just can't come up with the game. The guy's having almost eight yards of pace. Five carries for 22 yards so far today. And on the option there, Terrence. We go down to Dave Ryan. All right, we'll watch this play first. We'll finish up about Dave Gerard and some weight issues, Steve. Wow. Self. <laughs> he ate so much pizza, he ballooned up to 270 pounds when he got to campus in Greenville. Much more disciplined diet now, down about svelte 249. That's great, Dave. Thank Here's Gerard getting it out and wide open. Is Richard Alston all sorts of running room cuts up the middle now and he's inside the 10 breakdown take a look at the blitzes the blitzes are gonna come and all of a sudden here there's nobody on him if you're gonna blitz somebody has to come over and take the cornerback comes look at him come out of the backfield there's nobody left absolutely nobody terrible job on the part of the defense for Marshall who put up to this point he was playing particularly had actually been playing last. first down and goal for East Carolina Gerard will keep it on the option. And pick up. They didn't get points in the red zone. They did it themselves. They let the clock run out in a blowout win over Army. Otherwise, they would have been perfect. Three tight ends here on third down and goal from the seven. And Gerard on the option. Waiting for the last second. Pitches to Richard Austin. At this point, Marshall is not fooled anymore by this particular play. Look at the support from the secondary. Can't decide, can't decide, and at the last minute he throws it, but they're, they're a great coach. He knew, he knew about the kid in detail. Great guy. And by the way, I work plug holes. You make the people around you better, and he does. Second down and six. It's Denaro again. Three to the left of Byron Leftwich. Coming with the blitz. Here they come, feels the pressure, and throws, and watch the fourth and five, and going for it. 12 of 20 during the regular season for Marshall on fourth down conversions. They do not blitz, they rush just three. And that's why Leftwich has all sorts of time to survey the field. And five watts for the touch. That situation where you just have to get a first down, Usually what you do is you're going to hover over the five, six, eight yard area. They're in a pretty good coverage up to that point, but right there he breaks down a little bit. Watts goes long. Trust All the bowl does for youth, uh, inner city youth. First they have the camp focus for fatherless children. They have a great reading program. They have great corporate scholarship program sponsors. So it's terrific overall. It's a win-win for... Try to, you know... There are two penalties. There's going to be holding and interference, and of course they'll take the latter because that's going to be 15. Here's Crocker with his back turn. Now the ball is up in the air and he's not sure. And so rather than let him have a big game, he pulls on the shoulder. You know what? And you say to yourself that the yard yards that it would have been. Stanford reverse. And it's Richard Alston with running room. Across the 45. Gets a nice block to the 40. Down to the 30. That's showing you the wheels down the sideline. And he is dragged. Of course, the kicker says, yeah, okay, I didn't get the touch. I didn't get the touchback, but he did get a turnover. Here's Garai, off play action. The option pitched to the right side. And it's Richard Alston. Sunbelt. <laughs> They're the one team. <laughs> On first and goal now. Here's Garai going to keep it, and again, this time at least he was touched by the minute. In the second half, the Thundering Herd cut the Pirate lead to 38-15 when Ralph Street returned a David Garrard interception 26 yards for a touchdown. 12 minutes, 55 seconds now remain in the third quarter right here on ESPN Classic. Patience with his time. Again, only took us two takes. Normally we get it right the first time. Yeah, right. He only called Dave Shorty once. Here's Leftwich completing a beauty of a pass of Darius Watts. Truly now checks into the game. He's down to the 10 yards. 
struggled, remember, at the end of the first half when he dropped that slant route. This is a deep slant. What a gun. Boy, right between three defenders. Watts breaks a tackle and gets some yak down to the 10-yard line. Marshall has momentum on their side. Leftwich from the gun. Almost had some problems with that snap. And he takes off by the left side. Oh, my God. Oh, the end zone. And he gets... He's waiting for a delay of game. I mean, Leftwich is no speedster. But clearly the defense wasn't prepared for number seven to have a quarterback run on his own. This is a run all the way. There's no throw. Great job by Wallace out front. He's on the hands of number 22 and number nine. Every time man on that option. Copper in motion this time as Garrard drops the pass. And he's throwing underneath. An eight. Ball spotted at the four. Under 10 to go here in the third quarter. We've got ourselves a ball game from Mobile. Here's Garrard off play action. Rush rolls down to your sideline. Had Alston. And he. See right there, Alston goes up, but that's a little bit long for him. Still, if you're the quarterback, you're saying, boy, that would have been nice if you could come up with Third down conversions tonight. This is third down in the tough nine. Garrard, good protection around him. Throw him down the middle of the field. Great it is throw. caught. Completed the but Garrard makes a left witch tight throw. Watch this as he sits in the pocket. Terrific coverage. Look at that. He puts it right on the money. Satterwhite is there. He just can't quite get it despite the hard knock. They're sitting on their heels watching the defense struggle a little bit. Psychologically, this is great for the Pirates. Second and goal from the five. Off play action. Corner of the end zone. And Garrard and her. This is third down and goal now. From the five. Option. Sure are correct. And Garrard will hang on to it. Who continues to make good plays. Watch him come up and take on the tackle. Watch him take on Garrard. Forces him to the outside. He doesn't want to pitch now because they're too close. And Crocker says, nope, not here. You're going to have to attempt a field goal. And there is Leonard Henry. Came into action already. The conference you have crossed wow. that too often. No, you know. On second down and 11. Send Leonard Henry in motion out to the right side. And it's picked up. And that's going to be six. Terrence Tarpley touchdown. 25 yards. An ill-advised screen pass. This is thrown backwards. The idea here is that he's going to throw the ball, but the block out front is not there. Take a look. He's supposed to be blocked, but it doesn't happen. I think it was Leonard Henry that was supposed to make the block. It doesn't happen. Tarpley steps in front of Alston, who is going to throw the ball downfield. How turnovers were such an issue for Marshall. Now they're huge on the other end. First, the interception by Ralph Street, a great athletic play and great anticipation. And of course, on the other side here on this lateral, the pick by Tarpley, who steps in front of walks into the end zone. And once again, Marshall's got it going. Six turnovers in the football game today. If you just look at the offensive points, East Carolina is leading Marshall 23-15. But it's 41-29, you add it all up. And East Carolina looking for more. It's about 347. Excuse me. Sorry, Todd. Henry is over 103 yards today. Option. This time it's Austin had problems getting the football, and he doesn't have the football. Leaguer. If you're this close to the sidelines and you can't come up with it, just bat the thing out of bounds right there. Just push it out of bounds. Instead, when you create a pop-up earlier in the season, remember, Stephen, we, you, those of you that watched probably a Dolphin and Jet game, where the receiver got picked off. Really going to be all sorts of problems on that bench for the Pirates. Marshall thought the MAC championship game was over with as well. And they had a 23 0 lead against Toledo, and that didn't work. He's giving you a play by play opportunity. Probably better at it than I am. Three, out of a job. three for nine. That's what we talked about. The third down conversion. Three for nine. <laughs> Didn't do it that way. Here's Lucky. There's plenty of time. Throwing. Got a seam. And he's got his hands. And they're on Marriott. Down at the, the short corner by Marriott. He gets between the safeties and the linebackers underneath. And when you have this kind of time, well, what a gun he has. And look at that spiral. Well, he throws a pretty ball. 23 yard. Yeah. Second down and four. Number 23. The so temperature is taking a pretty good dip. The game time temperature tonight was 63 degrees. They get the play away. That's pressure. Leftwich swung around. The blitz with the outside. Here he comes. Comes in completely untouched. Poor job on the part of Wallace in searching out somebody coming in when you have the back. It really was after this play. 
three receivers out to the right. Wallace standing side by side with Leftwood. Here's Byron to throw. Sets, fires, it's Mario. First down and more. And, and a little close to 250 pounds. There's no way that he should be covering Marriott coming across the middle like that. That is a complete mismatch. Food for thought. Food for thought as well. Here's Garrard now. Throwing it across the middle and completing a Richard Alston. Makes a nice move on the second half. The most recent flashback ever. First down. We just about flip flop the first half of the second half. Well, here's East Carolina on the move, looking ahead in their five-point lead. Off play action, they pitch it back. So Richard Austin thought about throwing it. Bumps off some people, and he's down at the top. And Austin has a thrower, two of four for 104 yards, 105 yards, and two scores. Here's Gerard throwing, and completing to Derek Collier. And, and let season. me tell you what was really important about this catch. He spins away. The guy comes out of nowhere to whack him from the backside. Bam! And you would have thought that at that point, number 50, Goins, but he was able to hang on. That was a big play by him in holding on. First down and 10 from the 12. Gerard faked the option and kept it himself. Gain of 2 on 21 against Hackley. Here today, he has just five tackles so far. And 12 to go here in the fourth. Gerard under immediate pressure, able to break a tackle, and leaps into the end zone. Now there is a flag down. Oh, that's huge. He's gonna come back holding against Gerard. Take a look at the middle of your screen. There's the holding right there on the ground. He's got him by the leg. That's the official sees, and so they'll go 10 yards back from that spot. Breaks the tackle of Alonzo Jones. And there you can see that's clear holding on the part of Demarcus Fox, who's holding Yancey Satterwell. Five for five in the red zone in this game. Here's Garrard. Rolling right. Now feeling the pressure left. Still on his wow, feet. He's down to the 15. And to Washington. Take a look now. I know what his thinking is. Hey, everybody's coming to this side. Now, if I go back against the grand, I'm going to pull it off. Orlando Washington says, no way, I'm dragging you down. Look how strong he is. I mean, that's a big man now. Washington's near 300 pounds. Put together the GMAC ball. Pivotal play in the game on third and 14. After the timeout, here's Garrard. Throw it. It's on a slung it inside the 10. ESPN. Nice shot with the USS Alabama in the back. That will be ball three of 25. As we count it down. Left wing. Picked up the Vern Smith Award as the conference's MVP, only the third Marshall player to win it. Randy Moss and Chad Pennington. Tremendous former third players won it before. That pass by Leftwich behind his intended Marshall came into Division 1A in 97. Second year of Bob Pruitt's staff. Here's Leftwich now. Throwing, put some air on there. Maybe too much. Watts on the season. Fifth best team in the nation. Third down conversions. And the crowd starts to get loud. And here's Leftwich. Across the middle, completing first down yardage and more. And Leftwich is shaken up. Looked like he took a hit after the 17 yard gain to Josh Davis. Cornell Griffin looked like he put the hit on Leftwich. And I'm telling you what, boy, he takes a lot of hits. Watch at the end of the play, you're going to see it. Cornell Griffin drives him into the ground. Now, I'm telling you right now, Steve, at the NFL level, that's 15 yards. They call that. You know how difficult that is, Steve, to plan and get the ball downfield. Ed Zonbrecker, the offensive coordinator, told us about Leftwich holding on to the ball as the screen is out to Josh Davis. There is a flag on the seat. Right around his average, he averages, the offense averages throwing 350 yards a game. We'll take another shot at this, of course, Pernell Griffin. This is 254 pounds coming with speed, driving him into the ground right there, right through the gosh. When is he going to throw? That's a big question, and how well is it, what's it going to look like? And Todd, if you notice it, chances are the East Carolina so, coaching staff is well aware. Probably their players as well. They're coming with the blitz. Left switch drops. Wallace stays in to protect nicely. Flag comes late from the back jump. There's the catch right at the end. Collides 
his own tries to make the hit, and it actually comes from his own teammate on first down and ten. Pass to the three. <laughs> Left switch, straight drop with time. Pops and fires, and that is flat out drop. Oh. When you're between the hashes, you body this ball because you know you're going to get hit. Watch, he tries to make the nice hands catch, and all you have to do is get a piece of your arm to strip the ball away. If he falls in the NFL a couple of times on second down and 10, according to our statistics, that's the eighth drop tonight by Marshall. Here's Leftwich rolling to his right and taking off. There is a flag down. Leftwich is taking on some people. At the better, once again, Heath is the one that comes up and takes a hit on him. Rolls out to the right. Not the niftiest guy in the world, but listen to the collision. Now, coming to the wrist area as well. And Leftwich shakes it off. And he's ready to throw again. Across the middle, and it is nearly intercepted. And quite quickly, it's throws. Anthony Adams is waiting in the weeds. He reads his eyes the entire time, cuts across. You're absolutely right, Steve. That hit him right in the face mask. He should have had the pick. Situation that we mentioned earlier, more than likely, they're not going to get to the 10-yard line. Throw a hook pattern. Get a little bit closer for a more makeable field goal. Just get the playoff. Here's Leftwich. Throwing. has got a man. Blitz. They come with a blitz, and that means man for man coverage. Marriott has been running it out, running the short corner very well. He's able to he's able to get Rodgers, cuts behind him, touchdown, and now they have an opportunity to tie the game. A two-point conversion tonight. This for the tie. As Leftwich brings him up. Three receivers to his right, and he's gonna attempt the pass for it. And it is batted away. As they want the D to stand up tall here. East Carolina look to take some time off the clock. Garrard off the play action, rolling to his left. Now cuts it back to the right side, the near side. And here's Garrard. Out to the 40, and he's got the first down. Garrard taking his time to the line of scrimmage. He the play away. Fakes the option, keeps it himself. And he has dropped. Second and eight now. The Russian some people. Garrard hung in there for the last second oh. and couldn't get a play in. Man, this is 60. I said. <laughs> Hope he took over. <laughs> Man. Well, much more coverage, post-game reaction. Todd's fine analysis over on ESPN News. As soon as this one is over, that pass left which was to his right. Continue to rush three, Todd. As left which throws and completes the pass underneath. Third and short. They run it with the quarterback left with. First down and ten for Leftwich. Throwing sideline and completing to Curtis Jones. A personal foul. Well, that was, I tell you what, that was awfully late. I think that's one of the things the coach have great respect for him is with regards to his demeanor. Not too high, not too low. That's great to have that in the quarterback. This is what it looks like from the blimp, and probably even a little smaller from, from the moon. So, as Leftwich will throw, you get the area look from the really cheap seats. Able to complete. Can you see there from that there? Or just about it. 31 of 49, the numbers on Leftwich. 406 yards passing. Looking for more. That in and out of the hands of. Division one and Division one double A. Check out the championship game on Friday on ESPN. It's left with throws and completes. Hits De Niro Marriott. Three receivers to the right of left with now. Trailing by nine. All three timeouts left. Come with the blitz. Pressure up the middle. Right by left, which he's able to stand up and throw and should have been complete, but that'll go as a drive. right up the middle, completely untouched. Take a look. Here's Griffin. Got him dead to rights. Now nah, I don't think so. You go by me. I tell you what, boy, I, I just am really impressed. Besides the arm of Leftwich with, with his poise, and boy, what we have—the ninth drop of the game. Here's Leftwich, and he went down. Let's see if they call him down, and they do. Cornell Griffin. Remember that Griffin came in and pile drived him into the ground. Take a look. He's able to fight through. Now right here, he's got him.
Drives him into the ground right on that same side, the exact same place. Getting a good look at Griffin, 13 tackles, one and a half sack. He had a, he had a like situation where he threw the touchdown to Marion. He's Carolina bringing some people. Leftwich hangs in there and throws timing route. It's caught. Watts has the first. Used to burn him when they go man. Making third and 19 look rather easy. Gain a 23 on the play. Cross midfield is from the 42 of the Pirates. Left which again all sorts of time. Has a man wide open. And make that drop number 10. Nothing matter for the Hopes of Marshall. Here's Leftwich now. Hits again. Oh. Takes the big hit. Hung in there for the last second and able to complete to the narrow Marriott. And I think that they're going to call, they're going to attack on 15, I'm guessing, here. That's got to be a roughing the pass. And Kevin Ward is the one that came on the delayed blitz and he hit him right. Boy, he whacked it. Gets up slowly again after completing for 22 yards. And folks, you wonder, you see how Leftwich looks a little bit fat. Well, he's not fat, you know that. Those are rib pads. And the reason you have to have those rib pads is because of the hits like this that you've got to take as the quarterback. Here comes Ward down the middle. There's the throw. Hits him right in the mouth. Good call by the official. And he hangs in there and delivers the ball on the money. Unbelievable. So too is Marshall. First and goal from the nine now after the penalty. Here's Leftwich. Guns it in there. And maybe two. But factor in 11 drops. His completion percentage is much better. Tries to take off up the middle and sick play. Here's Leftwich. All sorts of time. Here in the end zone. And his receiver slipped down. Got to have the two scores anyway. Take a look right here. Take a look at the back. Take a look right here. He throws this on time. Take a look at the two. He really wants it. Look at the back right here. Nobody here. Nobody here. That would have been easy first down. That easy for me. Ranked teams have gone down to defeat in the first two bowl games here in Mobile. We'll see if it's third time. The 25th ranked Marshall trailing by six. Yates will make the stop on Gerard, and Marshall will be charged. 11 drops. Three receivers to his right. And here's Byron Lefford. Good protection. Throwing and can't connect with the narrow Marriott. Rose here is whether or not he's going to blitz or he's going to stay with his three-man rush. If I'm him, I stay with him. No timeouts remaining. Second and ten from the road 20. Here's Leftwich. It's Carolina rushing three. And it's where Leftwich has time for lunch. And he just airs it out down the sideline. No white jersey. On third and ten now. Leftwich will throw. He's got the man and he's got the first down. Goes Field goal won't help him now. Leftwich has a seam across the middle and able to complete Curtis Jones. Still at 24 on the clock. Three ticks remain. This is second and 10 at the 33 of East Carolina. Leftwich throwing and completing its Marriott down to the 10. Once again, only a second or two is going to bleed off from it. And that time, not even a slap. Leftwich, first and goal from the 10. Quick corner to the end zone. It is. Oh, he got it. Darius Watts went up for the touchdown. He got it. And it's a tie game. With seven seconds left, we are tied at 51. Steve, he threw that before he looked. He threw it before he was even in the end zone. What a timing throw by Leftwich. I can't believe what I just saw. And for all the drops, 11 of them tonight for Marshall. Darius Watts hangs on to the most important one. His second touchdown of the game. Here is the extra point from Curtis Head to put Marshall in front. He missed it. He missed it. What else can happen? Oh, man. Curtis Head, 51 of 57 on extra points during the regular season, just too shy of the mad record, and he missed it. Now, Steve, isn't that bizarre? I was just which Snap, one step, throw it up. Look at that. Watts doesn't even come close to looking. Throws it over the top. Watts comes over the top. This is poor coverage. Poor coverage by the defender. The boy, what a great throw. And left, which has every reason to be excited. Each team gets at least one crack from the opponent's 25. 
Scoreboard clock, might as well turn it off. And a drop. Interesting, the football lever, level. I mean, obviously it's not 12, but it's three or four, except no, considerably less than half a dozen. That's what I was going to say. And that pass is blocked and nearly intercepted. to a worry about the NFL. Here's third down and 10. A blitzer. Left with across the middle. It is caught. To do with man for man coverage. Here they come with a blitz. They come with five. Stands in man coverage. Watts is too much for the corner. He takes her in 16 points. Wow. We thought we were kidding when we promised you a lot of offense today. That's a defensive touchdowns well for them tonight. Here's Garrard. Rolling to his right under some pressure from the backside. And he will throw incomplete to Tory Morris. He's down at the 20 yards. Is, we can't be sure. But we're told it's coming up. Third down and five now. Garrard, the straight drop. Now rolling to his right. Directing traffic, and he'll cut it back to the left. He needs to get rid of it, Steve. And he gets rid of it, and more than get rid of it, and nearly caught for a touchdown. And there is Offensive pass interference. Now, here's the question. Do you want to test him 10 now? The 25. Trailing by three. Left which His arm's got to be tired. Throwing. Got him in at the five. And it's the narrow middle. Byron Leftwich. Leftwich is going to his left. Hard to bring down, not that hard. There's another one. So here's third and goal now from the eight. The blitz. Leftwich steps up and throws, and it is caught. There is a flag down. Josh Davis has it for the touchdown of the end zone. There is a flag down. <laughs> It's against East Carolina. And here he is throwing that dart. Look at that throw. And really, that was a tough catch in the hands by Davis. And that's got to be an excited young man. But again, the guy that deserves all the kudos is number seven. Playing through the hits, playing through everything else.